Global repatriation efforts have continued late into the night for stranded Thomas Cook customers as the fallout from the airline's collapse continues to be felt across Europe. Thousands of travellers remain stuck in holiday resorts and airports, hoping to secure a seat on a repatriation flight. Meanwhile, questions are being asked as whether the company missed warning signs ahead of the collapse. Euronews' Trent Murray reports. Final boarding call for a rescue flight home. A massive airlift of stranded holidaymakers continues following the collapse of travel firm Thomas Cook. The British government is overseeing its largest repatriation operation since the Second World War. Airlines including EasyJet and Virgin Atlantic have stepped in to help and jets from as far afield as Malaysia have also been flown into Europe to assist. You know, very, very sad that for what's happened for all of Thomas Cook and all the employees and that everyone's doing what they can. but. It's really disappointing that the holiday has to end like this. I feel for the staff more than anything else. The, uh, the reps have been superb, really helpful, very tearful, but that's the way it is. Approximately 50,000 holidaymakers remain stranded in Greece, 21,000 in Turkey, 15,000 in Cyprus and 4,500 in Tunisia. Thousands are also stuck across the Atlantic in the United States and parts of the Caribbean. Most of those caught up in the repatriation efforts are British and German nationals. The rescue efforts became necessary after 11th hour Thomas Cook fundraising talks with investors failed in the early hours of Monday morning. The move saw bookings, flights and package tours cancelled, sparking online panic for travellers and prompting a plunge in the company's bonds. Trent Murray, Euronews.